What do you know about balanced equations? That's going to be our topic today on teachvid.com. When I start to talk about balanced equations with my students at school, um, we'll often take a look at this and they like to call this a number sentence. It's not really a number sentence, however, there's no capital and there's no ending mark. A better idea about how to represent this is to look at a balance scale. A balance scale, uh, its whole job is to see if one thing on one side equals one thing on the other. So for example, if I have this 2 plus 3 and I put in the 3 and I have the 2 and I have another stack of 5, we're looking to see if they would balance. And we're hoping to see that 5 on this side equals 5 on this side. It's a balanced scale. Here's an equation. We have 9 plus 2 times 3 equals 8 plus n. Now n represents a variable. It's an unknown. We don't know what number that is, so we've simply substituted a letter in that spot. We're going to go ahead and use our order of operations, and if we remember, that's parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So we'll take care of this side of the equation first and solve for the value of this expression. I'm looking here and I see I have an addition and I also have multiplication. If I look up here, multiplication comes before addition. So I'm taking care of this part first. I'm not using the 9 or the addition this time, so 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to go ahead and write the other side of my equation. Now I'm going to solve the 9 plus 6. And on the other side, I have 8 plus n. At this point, I'm going to use something called the cover-up method. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the variable. I'm also going to cover up this number here. And what I end up is 15 equals, and if this is an equation, then the other side must be 15 as well. So it's supposed to be 15 equals 15. So let's go ahead and uncover the part that's not the variable. And we can see what we have is 8 plus something. So 15 on this side, and we need to get 15 on this side. So 8 plus something is the same as 15. If you're thinking 7, you would be correct. So we might say 8 plus 7 equals 15. So then our n that was under there is going to be equal to 7. When we solve this completely, we see that 15 is equal to 15. We have a balanced equation, which is what we're after here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. If you need a refresher course on order of operations, I'll put a link to a video that I shot earlier so that you can take a look at that. Don't forget to subscribe for more great videos are to come. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to email me at steph at teachvid.com.